A new documentary gives us an inside look at the work life of one of America's most powerful women. Pelosi in the House follows the career of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi from her early years in Congress to becoming second in line to the presidency. The person behind the lens is Pelosi's own daughter, her youngest documentary filmmaker, Alexandra Pelosi, who was given extraordinary access, including on January 6th, when she and her mother were evacuated from the Capitol. The speaker remained hard at work, even as rioters tried to hunt her down. All right, Mr. Vice President. Hi. Yeah, we're okay. We're here with Mr. Schumer, Mr. McConnell, the leadership, House and Senate. And uh, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Where are you? God bless you. But are you in a very safe well, that we're still not safe enough for us to go back. We're being told it could take days to clear the Capitol and that we should be moving everyone here to get the job done. Uh, we're at Fort McNair, which has facilities for the House and the Senate to meet. We'd rather go to the Capitol and do it there, but it doesn't seem to be safe. And Alexandra Pelosi joins us now. Alexandra, good morning. Um, morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. The documentary me. is fantastic. It's mm. incredibly engaging. It yes. covers, it packs in her whole life in 140, in an hour and 45 minutes. It is nonstop watchable television for sure. It's also tough because we're at a tough moment in this country. Uh, and we saw a clip there from January 6th. Your father in the aftermath of, of January 6th attacked recently. So I want to start just a lot of our viewers will be wondering, I know you said he's doing okay physically. How is he doing emotionally, and how's your family doing? Well, it's really long-term. This isn't sort of like the flu that you get over. He's physically healing every day, and he has great doctors. But the bigger conversation is about how you recover from something this traumatic. I mean, it's really traumatic. But also, then we go to the conversation of how did we end up here? Yeah. You know, these threats have been there for decades. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent to demonize Nancy Pelosi over the years. And she's always had protection, right? But the rest of us have always been rather exposed and always sort of felt this vulnerability. This was sort of like everybody's worst nightmare, and then yeah. it actually came true. So for us, we're still trying to make peace with the fact that, you know, I am not a card-carrying member of the Democratic Party. I'm not walking or I'm not a political person. You know all the films I've been making over yeah. the years. I'm not a political person. I really don't care who you vote for. But I really do think that the toxic political landscape that we're living in right now, it's, it's so hard to make peace with the fact that just because you sign up to go run for office, someone's going to break into your house and attack your husband. I mean, that's really a lot. Yeah. It, it, it was inconceivable when it happened. There's a line in the documentary where you ask your mom, how do you make peace with the fact that because of the work you do, people want to kill you? And she says, I have my faith. I didn't choose this job. This job chose me. How do you make peace with the fact that because of the work that she does, people want to kill your mother. I question. mean, it's haunting to me when, to be her daughter, when they're going, Nancy Pelosi, the way they were doing it is chilling, Alex. How do you make peace with it? Well, I don't. <laughs> I'm not. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's really sort of a sad reflection of where we've come. It's what social media has done to this country. It's really destroying the fabric of our culture. But these threats have been there for a long time because there's a whole political industrial complex that went and turned my last name into a curse word. Hmm. So they've been destroying... I mean, the amount of misogyny that has gone into this over the decades, that's really something that's hard to make peace with because if there are people... My mother has always taught us public service is a noble calling. Hmm. She believes that public service is a noble calling. Yeah. I would not... I would not wish this on my worst enemy. No. I, mean, I would never let... If somebody came to me and said, I'm thinking of running for public office, I'd say, you're insane. Do you have any idea what kind of a risk you're exposing yourself and your family to? Yeah. You say, be careful. Um, there's a moment in this film where you tell your mom she's a tough nut to crack. Yes. Um, which and, is and she an is. An amazing scene. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and listen, that's saying a lot because politics at times can be nuts. Um, but what did you learn about your mother while filming? Well, here's the thing. She's not, Gail knows this, you've tried. You've tried to crack her, right? She doesn't, she's not an overshare, she's not an emotional. I wasn't trying to crack her, I was just trying to get her, get her to open, open up. up. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't spread it on the couch and overshare yes. like I do. You know, it's just a different, so some people think there's going to be this sort of other side, you know, this sort of like, right. and it doesn't exist. And so that's why you have to, People in public life, right? You have this, don't you? Where you have to be a certain way. You have to be on your best behavior in public. And then you go home. Maybe when you get home, 
I don't know how you are. How are you at home, Gail? <laughs> I do get undressed. I'm not walking around in high heels. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. See? So yeah. that's who she is. It's yeah, in her right. DNA. Yeah. She believes in this stuff. So this is, if you try and ask her about it, it's not like she's going to come home and say, She's she's on message because she's on a mission. But yes. uh, you know the yeah. film is also full of behind the scenes moments, not at mm -hmm. home, but in her office with her staff in the aftermath of historic events, plotting the strategy uh, to get done what she got done, and that's what makes the movie so incredible. Your access uh, and your sensitivities as her daughter. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was never actually given permission. Let's be clear right. about one thing: there are some people I that are going to be very upset when this movie comes out, starting probably with Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi in the House comes out on HBO tomorrow. <laughs> Alexandra, thank you very much. Very, very good. Good. Very good.